Have you ever seen one of these in the road before a traffic light? I've seen them all over the place, but I have no clue what they're really for. Let's find out. It turns out that these are a form of traffic light sensor, and I thought that might be the case. I mean, it's either that or some kind of a secret entrance to an underground tunnel system the government doesn't want us to know about, and I might get arrested for even mentioning and digging deeper into. Anyway, these sensors were designed to detect when a car is parked at a red light. If it senses you there, it triggers a sequence of events that ultimately ends in you getting that green light. I figured that's kind of what they were. They were like a scale that would detect the weight of the car and let you go once it felt the car's weight under it. But that's not actually how they work. Those circles, triangles, or squares that you see in the road are called inductive loop sensors. And they're actually sort of a fancy metal detector. It is kind of a wonder though that they still function with all the plastic in cars these days. Now these are the most commonly type of traffic sensor, but there are actually four total kinds, and I did not know this. So we just talked about inductive loop sensors, but they're also infrared sensors. Now these are really common, but we don't normally see them because they're embedded into the light itself and not into the pavement. If your light is equipped with an active infrared sensor, it shoots down little low energy infrared beams towards the ground. When your car drives under the beams, it senses the motion and it triggers that sequence and you get to go on your journey. There are also passive infrared sensors and those ones don't emit anything, but they're receivers looking for your car's infrared or looking for any energy coming from the road itself. And if it detects that, once again, the sequence starts and you'll get a green light. If you want to learn more about these infrared sensors, there is a ton of information on them online. Though, I think I need to move on because I'm starting to picture the Cylons with the little red skin sensor beam and it's creeping me out a bit. So, let's look at the next one. Microwave sensors are another type. This is when the traffic controller starts to microwave a bag of popcorn when you set up the light. Once the bag only pops every two to three seconds, the light will turn green and you'll get to go on your... Uh, sorry, just that, that that's the wrong article. Ah, 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 microwave sensors are actually just like infrared sensors. They're just less expensive and better in hot climates. That's all. As technologies developed, video sensors have actually become a viable thing. These function similar to like the cameras in those Tesla cars you see online, where it can detect when a car pulls up to the light and they'll turn green. These are cool because they can also detect bicyclists and even pedestrians waiting to cross at the crosswalk. Hopefully that provides a little bit more info into traffic sensors for you though it's been a few seconds since I've heard the popcorn pop, so I think I need to go check on that before it burns. Bye.